Paul Jameson here. You set me up. Say, what? What are you talking about? How did you know I was here? I watched you walk there from your office. Look across the street. Third floor. Do exactly what I say, or you get a bullet right through your head. Where are you, Sable? Go to that building, room 300. He'll give you a letter. It's for Bernardo. Take it to him. I want to meet with him, and I want you there as a witness. But, Sable... Do exactly what I said. You get your story, and you live. That Jameson dude is clean as a whistle. What about his phone? Maybe he called Bernardo. I tried to find out if he called him, but that hotel has a new system, and I haven't figured out how to sneak into it yet, okay? Did you get into customs? That was easy, but no Barnados crossed at any of our borders. Besides, you gotta figure the guy's using another name. Uh, John, did you hear the one about the guy with no name? He called himself and nobody answered. <laughs> Cheesecake. All right, I have to work on that one. But where do you plan to meet these gentlemen? At an L station. An L station at night? Are you crazy? Those places are dangerous. You want me to wait up? No, you keep checking. I know you'll come up with something. I always do. I always do. I got your letter. This is what I think of it. It's a little late for an apology, Sable. There's no statute of limitations for murder. Your father killed my wife and children. That's what you say. But he never got a trial, did he? You saw to that. He never knew he was being hunted. I'm gonna hunt you, Sable. And I'm gonna put you through hell. That's not the answer, Bernardo. No, but it's my answer. Ten years I've been waiting for you, Sable. Ten years since you took my father. It won't bring him back. No, but it'll send you straight to hell. And I can make you suffer, Sable. Hold it, Jameson! your attention and that's something. Well, I can think of worse ways to start out the day. Well, 
There's good news and bad news this morning. The good news is you're not in the paper. What's going on in the rest of the world is pretty awful. You know, you look like something the cat threw out and then dragged back in again. You want to talk about it? Talk to me, John. Communication is essential in a relationship, even when it's falling apart. There's nothing there. Oh, yeah. You can say that again. Basically, I've been talking to myself for two days. Bernardo killed this British reporter last night, right in front of my eyes. And there's nothing on the paper about it. You saw it? I couldn't stop it. There was nothing I could do. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been wherever it was you were in the first place, John. You know what? I'm going to take this opportunity in New York. You're going to leave me? John safe. I've had it with his guns and his knives. His Halloween mask in the middle of the night. I'm just, I'm tired. I got a plane to catch John. I need you. If Winstead wants you now. in a week. Believe me now. You're gonna get yourself killed, John. And I don't want to be the one they call in the middle of the night to come and identify the body. Don't do that to me. Okay, Nicholas, let's face it. Eden's a snob. She doesn't wear clothes, she wears labels. Couture is her reality base. She certainly doesn't understand men. She's manipulative, catty, fickle. She's as creative as a baseball bat. And last but not least, she's the best friend either of us ever had. How could you let her leave? Asians are a dime a dozen. Yeah? Well, I know where you can get two dozen for 15 cents. Nicholas, she means a lot more than that to you. I didn't let her leave. Eden makes her own decisions. God, men are so stupid. All she wanted was for you to talk her out of it. Did she say that? No. Not exactly. I understand women. I happen to be one. Oh, Nicholas, I'm gonna miss her. So am I. So? Do something about it. I can't. You know, if the mighty Casey had said that, Mudville would have lost. They did lose. Well, at least they tried. Mm. You certainly know the way to a man's heart. You'll make somebody a great wife someday. <laughs> Anything on Bernardo? Yeah, confusion, man. It seems to me ever since Rhodesia became Zimbabwe, a whole bunch of records and tapes ended up in the dead data file. And all the folks who kept them went back to England. So I'm searching London now. <laughs> 